After all our bad luck throughout the ice fishing season, it was getting towards the end. I knew, I just, I just had this feeling that, you know, something good had to come up. And, uh, of course it did. We're out on the ice, locally, in Rudolph. And, you know, we're just sitting there, calm day out, you know, beautiful. And we hear a flag go up. I mean, you just gotta get this feeling eventually, you know, something good's gonna happen. Something's gotta happen here soon. And pretty soon that day came around. Out there ice fishing on the old Rudolph stretch of the water and got some tip ups out, put some shiners down in the hole, trying to catch some walleyes, but we caught something a lot bigger than a walleye that day. Flags up. I'm off right away. Just gone, like a gunshot. I'm out in front of the pack, just hauling. You know, it's my turn to pull a good fish out of the water and I make a good slide right to the hole. It was intense. My, my adrenaline was just pumping. The spool is just a going. It's going crazy. I'm afraid we're going to spool out a line that thing's taking out so much line so fast. The line was just spinning on it and pulls the tip up off and gives it a good hook set and just takes out line. And bam, set the hook. Immediately feel weight. I mean, the fish just takes off. I knew right then and there it had to be a muskie and it had to be a big one. He's big. Give him some slack. You got him hooked pretty damn good though. This is a big fish, folks. This is a big fish. Oh, oh. Oh, no. As soon as he gives you slack, give him. Bring him up. Keep bringing him. As soon as he lets you get him. The thing fought like crazy. We bring it into the hole eventually here, and I got some great coaching by old Ginger. I mean, He's helped me drag it in. I wasn't, I'm not the most experienced ice fisherman, but I got the job done. That's right, that's right. Oh, folks, this is a nice fish. <laughs> I think it's a big musky. I think it's a big musky. You know, we're bringing up the fish and we get, keep getting it close to the hole. We see the marker. I mean, the marker's only two feet off from under the ice. And all of a sudden, bang, he's taking off. Again and again, we get him closer and closer to the hole. He just takes off. Don't let him get past that knot, dude. Don't let him get to that knot. right there you see him through the ice and we get him through and ginger gills him for me and we pull him right out and it's a monster muskie we're both just all excited right there me ginger skis and arzilla we are just jacked i mean highlight of our year probably the biggest best part of my life right there he had a good four minute fight with this fish and when he pulls it up through the ice i couldn't believe what i saw it's the monstrous muskie this thing was huge that's the biggest one I've ever seen pulled out of the ice, and I'm just proud of that kid. Seeing one of your best buddies that you grew up with catch the muskie of his lifetime, and it's his first time ice fishing, boy, I'll tell you, that's something special, and that's what we're all about here on the Swamp Rats. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Second ever muskie, first ever muskie ice fishing. That is awesome. That's what it's all about, folks. Wisconsin. Grew up Wisconsin. This is where it's at. Folks, ice fishing, Wisconsin, Rudolph. Yep. Don't done. bother asking where we're fishing, because we're in Rudolph. That's how it's yeah. done. Swamp Red Outdoors right there, boys. Here we go.